Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Parsons with your People Update. Here's what you need to know and watch trending today. Amanda Knox, the college exchange student who was convicted of murdering her roommate, Meredith Kircher, in Italy and sentenced to 26 years in prison before an appeals court overturned the ruling, not once but twice, opens up in an exclusive interview with People about rebuilding her life after being released from that Italian prison. Slowly, as I've been able to rebuild my life, I felt like I could finally join the rest of humanity in the way that most of us take for granted again. But a large part of that is because I'm not being hunted anymore. There's nothing about my experience that says that I am not allowed to interact with the rest of humanity. I defy that. So I, the expectation was that of course I would want to disappear into, you know, into oblivion and no one would ever know about Amanda Knox anymore because of course that's the only reasonable thing that a, a woman would want to do. And I, I think that's wrong. Amanda Knox's full interview is streaming now on the People Entertainment Weekly Network. Fans of The Real Housewives of New York City are still reeling from last week's season finale, but reality star Sonia Morgan is sharing a particularly funny moment from this past season on People Now. The last time I laughed so hard I cried was in Mexico when all of us girls were on the couch, naked and nasty. This could make for an interesting reunion, and part one of the Real Housewives of New York City reunion airs tonight on Bravo. Country star Lindsay L's hit single, Waiting On You, has been blowing up the charts. I'm right here, baby. Don't keep me waiting on you. And the singer's love life has been making big headlines too. L is currently dating radio DJ Bobby Bones, but their public relationship hasn't been easy to maneuver. Back in June, the up-and-comer was unexpectedly dropped from a show in Sacramento because of her relationship with the radio DJ. She tells People Now it's given her a new outlook on love in the spotlight. You know, when we were talking about officially dating, we were, we were scared. He was worried he was going to ruin my career because of his position in radio. And eventually we were like, you know what? We're just going to, happiness is so important for anybody to be happy in life. And we're just going to live our lives and, and hope that it's not going to interfere with anything. And, and in Sacramento, I never wanted that whole thing to happen. I all never because wanted of your relationship with him. anything. So, yeah like that to happen and all I wanted to do was just apologize to my fans because they thought that I was going to show up at this show course, right. and so I just wanted to let them know that I wasn't going to be there for you know not a reason that that I didn't want and so if anything out of that whole thing it showed me like the army of fans that I have and the level of support and love that that was happening on Twitter throughout the whole day and I just really feel like Personal life should be your personal life, and people can talk about it as much as they want, but then your career should be your career, and I really think that as a musician, and as a songwriter, and as an artist, music should always be judged on its own merit. Lindsay L's new album, The Project, is available now. And a very happy birthday to our favorite material girl, Madonna, the musical icon who taught us all to Vogue, turns 59 years old today. For more on these stories and more entertainment news, check out People Now, streaming on People.com, Facebook Live, and the People Entertainment Weekly Network.